Let's go! Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, so Todd and I are diving into the bully. We're gonna go ahead and get the differential and the axles removed. And since we have to remount the differential anyway, um, because of what happened before is it came loose and was actually wandering around. And I think that's why the axle shaft um, broke like it did. So we're gonna build a new mount. Um, it's gonna have a little mid plate back here. And then uh, the adapter, I'm having another one made that'll have some tabs off of it uh, to get it where it needs to be. Uh, I'm gonna get these spacers pulled out of the shafts and then that will allow us to get the axles kind of straight and where they should be. And uh, hopefully our length will be good then so we don't have to make new ones or make any other adjustments. So I'm gonna get busy by uh, getting the differential out and the axle shafts out. So let's get to work. Todd's back there pulling the rear wheel. Um, we're gonna look at making a bracket for a rear, rear wheel speed sensor so that uh, we can do a little trash control. So, so that's what's on the agenda at the moment. So I'm gonna get these wheels off and uh, get to work. That's what we're trying. We're taking the spacers. The spacers. Out. Oh, we're moving it all forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that way. Did you have them on just or the inside, out. or was it both just sides? Yeah. Okay. Angle. Well, the so we we found the diff and basically fell out of the chassis anyway, but we didn't know. So we're gonna remounting that anyway. If we're gonna remount it. We might as well remount the axles are straight. And just leave the steering to where it's good. If we do need uh, lower. I know. No, it's right here. It's perfect. It'll be fine. Just right on that side of it. And actually, because it's right there, we'll be able to build like a bolt-on strap here. Yeah. So if it broke, it'll catch it. Yeah. Like yeah. A drive shaft yep. yeah, a little dry shaft. Like you were talking about, you yeah, wanted it. Nice. And then we put a little tube down there for the and fuel lines and the wires to run through so if the axis breaks it doesn't tear up anything in the chassis. Yeah, if yeah, it got wild. But that fixes a lot of stuff. So we got the old rack out and if you can see, this was just a regular manual steering Civic rack that we made these little tabs for back in the day. Um, Steve St. Pierre went, went and welded these all on here and then built this rod here. And we're gonna stick with this type of rod, but we're gonna move the angle on these so it has a better shot of getting right here to the where the tie rod will hook up on the spindle. And then here we're gonna make a piece that basically um, double seals. So we'll put a metal plate between here that has like a mid plate, and then this will bolt onto the back of that. So. Yep, we'll sandwich it all up. But even that, right now, I'm just looking at it and it looks so much better. It's already like... And the angle this way. Yeah, angle. and then the, yeah. the axle, you can see, is just way happy. <laughs> way happy. I can see visually right now, we got a little twist to it, so this side of the diff will pick up a little bit, which will straighten this out. But right now, obviously, you can tell, we just got some boards under it. So there'll be obviously some measuring and stuff to get that straightened out, but. And the intake on the J is that fairly low. Yeah, the, in, the old yeah. It was lower than the F was. Yeah, and we, don't, we haven't built a front end yet. Um, I do <coughs> wanna do some type of front end stuff. Um, I have a front bumper cover already from another front end. And uh, whether we enclose this all or not, that'll end up going on here. But I haven't totally made up my mind. We ain't got a, a ton of money to, or time to sit here and make so a whole make thing yeah yeah and we also yeah we want to get it down a to b first you know 
Because what if we change it all? You know, we're sticking with it, but. We break good into the eights, that then we know arrows which will help us a ton too. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Then it'd be worthwhile. All right. Where we drill this out and get that. Yep, we'll make a nice new catch pan there. Yeah, because I'd like to do, like I was telling Jamie, he's like, I'd like to do some kind of catch pan on the motor, like showing us where, like, yep. blow it up. We're not driving up nothing. Absolutely. I love it, man. I do too. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is going to be what it should have been. Yep, the right step forward. That was a good plan. But first, I think we got to get cleaned up, get the yes. oil out of the diff, and get these CVs and everything in clean. Because I'm greasy, man, right now. Yeah. You can't get enough rags around me yeah, at the I moment. I know, it's so bad. It is so bad. Is it really ridiculous to remove the sled? Just out of curiosity. Um, it, it has been. I mean, I'll, I could try it. It's been a long time. I mean, it's three bolts back there. And then these two up here, five plus the shocks and then whatever wiring and then fire suppression. I, oh, the brakes was the big reason. Brakes, yeah, the big reason. Yeah. And I always meant to put in a fitting that was, the, the, yeah. Doesn't. Shuts, shuts it off, yeah. So then it's real minimal bleeding. Yeah, but I never put that in. So, I mean, if we had to do it, I mean, we could definitely do that. I mean, at just, that point it's just bleeding get, brakes. And we get one of those valves, so at that point, we could have it in there. Yeah. Like You're just thinking if we move the sled, we could almost put it on the bench and then... Build everything. Yeah. Build everything and put it back. That's kind of what I was thinking. Don't have to have the whole car over there. Yeah. education went? <laughs> 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 These hind drones stay in the same spot. Just the same. Yep. Okay. Who wants to be outside? Uh, let's move like that box.
Bolts too. Yep. Yeah. Don't don't don't. Hey, I've never pulled it off. So we just yeah. pull those nuts and then push the whole thing. Has this never been off since it got put, got put on? No. no. So now we can check the hymes, make sure the hymes are all good. Yeah, we're yeah. doing a thorough inspection. Maybe put a little lithium in there. Lots of it. Lots of lithium. Yep. Uh, Steve again. Todd's got it. Uh, they're, oh not, they're nylock, so they're not really tight. Yeah, because these ones are just. Yeah. They're They're a limit. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's good. Okay. Can you pull the bolt through? Yeah. Can you push the sled backwards a little? So I have the washer out. There we go. Spread that in there. Some big old hardware held it together. Like good stuff, you know? Not like some cheap little bolt. No, no. Ow. All right, let's make sure this little bolt is in All right. That one's actually three quarter. I'm going to remove the whole front of the car. Wow, there it is. Well, yep. You're good. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I got the light in. <laughs> well, do you guys want to set it down or? or yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. It it'll be easier to go out the garage door color. Yeah. Carry it over. I'll take two white and fit through that. There it is. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that. That is cool. So back when I first decided I was doing all this, one of the ideas was to have two front ends that were completely done and ready to go that you could just plug into the car if you blew up a motor or broke a trans. You're like, I want to make the next round. Boom. Boy, Change the whole slide. Like, yeah, that's a whole lot more than I thought. But at the same time, it's actually not if you were to do this all right. Let me put those bolts back in so if there's any oh, spacers yeah. or anything. We do have an issue. What did we do? Good thing we did pull it oh, off. Oh, we did do that for a reason, bro. Everything, Everything has happened for a reason on this car, bro. Everything. That is broke off of the chassis. Right here. Wow. Wow. I just looked and I was like, what is that? Bro? Why is that still in there? Yeah. That should have came out with the sled. It's missing the tube sleeve. Is that the tube sleeve and it broke off? No, no, it looks like you probably cut it short for some reason. Yeah, it did. Yeah. It didn't look like it's been welded. Oh, man, there was no reason for that, too. Mm -hmm. Sick. Damn. You've never seen that, bro. You didn't pull me off. Believe that, yeah. Holy cow. So Sean, you fix this up and we'll clean the car and when you're done, we'll just bolt it on and head yeah, out of town. I need to get some high end stuff in on order. Dude, this is gonna look trick. It's gonna change the game for what it was, you know? Absolutely. That's what we need to do. Never looking out, man. Yeah. 
But we took it all apart for a reason. Yeah. We're finding it. Well, sometimes you got to go backwards to go forwards, like Fong said the other day. But we've got the front end off, we've got the slit off, we've got it in Sean's bay now, and we're gonna go ahead and make a new diff mount, a new steering mount, and uh, just try to overall make and improve that whole front end. Um, we were talking about getting these shocks revalved and adding something to slow it all down, whether it's just another pair of struts or some kind of air bump stop situation. Uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Um, we're doing some research now try to figure that all out but it was a, you know and it was a blessing that it happened you know what I mean you got a gut feeling it's like hey we're this far let's just take it the rest of the way and inspect everything and good thing we did because we had a heim joint that uh, the tube end broke and whether I did it or or someone else back in the day like whatever it's broken and we need to fix it and thank goodness we found it now because we can scan this all and make sure everything is up to date and good so I'm very stoked about that it's very cool it's uh, sure gonna send us in the right direction, but it looks crazy. Can't, it's getting hard to get over the fact that this whole front end is off. It looks crazy. Like I said, when I was young, I, I thought, oh yeah, I could do two front ends and just if something breaks, I can slide one out and slide one in. It's a little more complicated than that, and I don't think that's what we're gonna do, but it wasn't, it wasn't actually that bad to come off. It was pretty easy. And we're gonna add the, at the same time, we're gonna add the, the quick deals on the brake line so when we pull it off we don't have to bleed it again it'll just they have little check valves in them and it stops the fluid so so we're gonna do that as well but that'll do it for this video the bully is missing the front end but it'll soon be back and better than ever we're trying to make a race uh, March 15th and uh, you know if something doesn't go that way and we don't make it to make this better that's fine but we still got that in the air. I don't want to rush it this time. I want everything to be right and good and uh, see if we can't make this thing fly. I appreciate you guys hanging in there and watching. Uh, give us a like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for being part of our channel. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. All right.